What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Doing something positive. He was the most passive, beautifully a gentleman. And, and, you know, this is consistently. I've never seen him aggressive. I've never seen him have a problem with the public. And what Jordan did, he gave freely to the city of New York and brought nothing but joy to this town for decades. And, you know, a misconception of street performers, we're out there giving it away. It's free. If you want to donate, that's fine. But, you know, we're doing our civic duty out there, keeping the peace. We keep the peace better than cops, in the sense that in the 20 years that I've been out there and Jordan doing his thing, there was never any problem. He Daniel Penny, the man who put Jordan Neely in a deadly chokehold on a New York City subway, arrived with his... What's up? What's up? What's up? It's... So oh boy, came to tell this YouTube shit. Amen. Say man. We are litty. Lit the motherfucking teams, man. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Today? It's a motherfucking day straight hood and outside. Big crib out here, man. Amen. Say man. We turn, 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 man. We got a W. Let's go, man. A W for the black people, man. A lot's been going on with these popo -po brutalities and all this um, people trying to attack black people and stuff. Um, but this is the first one we've been talking about. It got we got a lot more to go, man. It's been going left and right, y'all. Just don't get. I haven't been. I haven't posted it yet. A lot's been going on, literally. But uh, okay, so we were talking about Jordan Lilly, man. Um, Jordan Lilly, man. He was. He was. This, this all happened in motherfucking New York, bro. And y'all, if y'all did not know, that's what happened to Eric. I think Eric Gardner, when he died, got choked out by the popos. And then when the um, the racist school said the kids chicken and waffles that nobody thought was wrong, they said, like, "Ooh, they eat chicken and waffles. How's that a bad meal?" But they don't know that chicken and uh, waffles and water, man, they be all trying to make it racist. And then they try to, they don't, and then they understand the chicken and waffle. That's what all these black celebrities been dying at. Okay, boom. So we've been talking about how Jordan Neely, man. Jordan Neely used to be, uh, uh, still, might still be uh, uh, a Michael Jackson impersonator. Keep it. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't do the moon rock. Look at that. You think he was doing the moon rock. You know what I'm saying? And he was very known around the city, man. Um, a lot of people know 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 Jordan Lilly, man. Basically, you know what I'm saying? Um, he used to bring smiles to people's faces, man. Uh, he would do it for free, man. A lot a lot of times people would um donate to help. Now they were trying to say that he was homeless, which we don't know if he was homeless. If he was homeless, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, and he was helping people out when other people would get happy. But if he, sometimes motherfuckers don't even be homeless. They be like just trying to do some shit, like to have entertainment. So he was an entertainment for um for uh for uh just for, just the entertainment out here in New York on the subway. So this nigga, you know, what I'm saying he'll just have fun entertaining people, and. I guess they were trying to say that uh, it had to do with some old lady. You know what I'm saying? That he must have harassed or some shit. Which we don't know if that happened. If that happened. You know what I'm saying? We don't know the, what like what was the full threat of what even happened. Like for all that to even go down for. You know what I'm saying? They were trying to say that he was getting mad. Which a lot of people said that he, that he wasn't. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker was just out there. And you know what Some people be... They be so goddamn nosy, bruh. You know what I'm saying? They be nosy. They'll call 12 on you. Or they'll even get mad at you just because you out here. You know what I'm saying? And they, it has it have nothing to do with them. You're not messing with nobody. You know what I'm saying? You don't mess with nobody. You just out here sitting, just cooling, or just doing your thing. Motherfuckers will call the popos on you. You know what I'm saying? Just, for, just to do it. 
You know what I'm saying? That's how people are. Motherfuckers will act like they the victim just to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I guess some Marine got mad at the at, at, at Jordan Neely. And the motherfucker choked him out. And it was all on camera, man. You know what I'm saying? Um and it's like, bruh, they 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 they, they choked this nigga out and then they killed him. They did not have to choke this nigga out like that. Man, like I said about the, the uh, if y'all not remember what I said about the Black Lives Matter leader activist who died um a couple of months, three, four months ago. And he was trying to, they was trying to kill me, they're trying to kill me, they're trying to kill me. And he was in public, and the popos came up to him, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong, they're trying to kill me. Now, no, and we all know it, the popos was trying to kill him. The popos was like, oh, what's wrong? And they tased him. They tased him to death. You know what I'm saying? So this motherfucker, he's not even, the nigga wasn't even, he was an ex-military person. He was ex-Navy something. He wasn't even in it no more. He choked the nigga out, man, and killed him. And they was gonna let this nigga get for free. They, they, was, gonna let, they was gonna let him go walk away for free. If nobody said nothing. And that's why we gotta fight for our people. No cap. Because if nobody gonna fight for it, it would've been just like that other dude we were talking about. The dude with the baby. And they killed him and left the baby to drop on the ground. They swept that shit under the rug for three funky ass years until somebody said something about it. RP all these people, but if we don't talk about it, nobody's gonna talk about it. They gonna they be able just to hide all this shit, bro. They will hide it if they can. They will. We seen it. They will hide this shit, and nobody would know anything or anything or anything. They would just say he he went missing. You know what I'm saying? And and people be like, oh, why are you making a big deal? He was a he was a minister, bro. We, he was not a minister of society, bro. You know what I'm saying? He, the motherfucker was out here to do what he do and, 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 and entertain and get lit. Now, he might have been homeless at this time. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Who knows what the conversation was? They could have egged each other on. You know what I'm saying? They don't give no weak ass motherfucker the right to kill somebody because he felt like he should good kill him. You know what I'm saying? He get charged with second degree murder, which should be a first should have been first degree, but he get charged with second degree murder. You know what I'm saying? For doing what he did, bro. You know what I'm saying? You just can't go around killing somebody because you know how to kill somebody. Nigga didn't kill nobody in the army. Nigga didn't kill a motherfucker in the, in the military or anything what he did. Nigga didn't kill nobody. The only person he killed was a black person on the streets in the in the, in the, in the subway train station. You know what I'm saying? He didn't kill nobody who was like a threat. You know what I'm saying? A threat. You know what I'm saying? He, the only thing he felt like he could kill and he felt like it was worth killing was a was an unarmed black man. You know what I'm saying? And it's always like that, bro. And usually, we don't get what we don't get nothing for it, bro. They just kill us, and they were just like, "Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job." You want, you want protection? You want, want, the, want the KKK to protect you? Okay, we got you. KKK, KKK, protect them. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you feel me? They don't, they don't, they, 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 they reward the person for killing, for killing us. You know what I'm saying? They reward the people for killing us. They don't, they don't try to stop the killing. You know what I'm saying? But they want to lock us, they, they lock us up for drugs, little weak ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Fake shit. They make up, they make up, they make up shit, cap shit. You know what I'm saying? They try to like young thug up for all these umpteen years for nothing over some shit that he, that, cause the people said some shit of his name. You know what I'm saying? But that, but the person who we see clear as motherfucking day take a somebody out. Don't get nothing happen to him until we gotta say something about it. You know what I'm saying? That's just the thing. Like, we, we, we should have to say something. And make up a big ass 
something just for y'all to do some shit. Y'all should have been done done this shit. Y'all ready to lock us up for the, the weakest shit, the littlest shit. Like y'all even need the y'all even need evidence to lock us up. You know what I'm saying? These niggas get caught in 4K, 8K, 9K, 100K, nigga, and they still don't do shit. You know what I'm saying? It, just, it don't make sense to us. Like we gotta do all this extra ass hard ass shit just to even live. Just to even live. And then we, we do what we do, we still get down and out. And then when we down and out, we still get killed. Motherfuckers don't do nothing. Niggas be down and out. The society make people down and out. And then it be like, the popo be like, uh, why don't we get your ass up and work? Why don't you get your, your ass up and go, go to the South Ashton Army or some shit? Bitch, if you stop taking niggas money and stop doing some shit, niggas can make some shit around this bitch. Niggas can make some shit, some shit shake. What are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers not trying. To, these motherfuckers not trying to. Do, these motherfuckers not trying to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? They just want to lock us up and take what we got. You know what I'm saying? And then when the motherfuckers who really do the shit, who really kill these motherfuckers, they gonna let, let these niggas go. Get these niggas a purple heart and say you did it. You saved the whole humanity. You know what I'm saying? So it just don't make sense to us. It's like it's like we gotta go above and beyond just to get some respect for what we what, for what's happening to us. Why these motherfuckers can do whatever they want and and, and get almost get left free. They, I, they was letting this nigga free, bro. If, I'm telling y'all niggas, bro. If they went, if we went, never saying that they would have let this nigga free, nigga. It would have been annoying. another George Zimmerman and Trayvon Martin, nigga. They would have let this nigga free and put this nigga in the KKK to protect them niggas. That's what I'm calling it. They ain't protect the cussing no more. That's protect the KKK, nigga. Y'all the KKK. Like if you if you protect the niggas like uh, George Zimmerman and a nigga who, and a, and, a, and a lady who killed George, um, it kill me. You know, you know what I'm saying? No, you, y'all not, y'all not protecting serious KKK at that point, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, bro, we don't keep on fighting for our people, man. Keep on bringing up awareness because if we don't do, who gonna do it? At this point, you know what I'm saying? We can't just let our people go out like that. You know what I'm saying? Think no, we ain't, we ain't finna fight for it, fight for nobody. Oh, just because we thought, just because it looked like he was doing some wrong, like he looked like he in the wrong, we can't fight for what, what's going on, nigga. No. Anytime a nigga loses his life over anything, and we and he didn't get the pop or nothing, or he get the fight back, we don't talk some shit. What we talking about? You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't finna just be around the chair, just dying. What? No nigga die. Well, we ain't finna talk about it. Just let that nigga die and just, cause that can happen to us. That can happen to our kids. That can happen to our family. That can happen. That can happen to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who's close to us, it can happen to anybody. It can happen to the person watching this shit. It can happen to you. You know what I'm saying? So why not bring awareness to some shit that's happening? If, if we can stop the shit from happening in the future, even if we can tell the people who who get caught up in that situation, just hey, if they tell us, if they if they on some fuck shit, man, we can't let the niggas take our lives, man. Or to the popo, if they on some shit, fuck shit, man, they try to tell us, put, just just hey, man, just protect your life at the end of the day because they want us down at any cost. You know what I'm saying? So we just gotta keep on remembering, man. We we fought too damn long for motherfuckers to try to keep on putting us down in the dirt and 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 and, and, and kill our people for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Make up all this shit and change history. We ain't, we ain't finna. We ain't going for that. As a black people, reason like Jew, I'm not going for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna talk my shit. I'm gonna speak what I gotta say, and we gonna keep on pushing, man. And we gonna try to keep and try and try to bring awareness to this situation, man. And we can't let this shit go under the motherfucking dust, man. But that's a big, big W for the North Side for the black people as a whole because and that nigga really got left free for what he did, man. That's what's been some more bullshit. But they locked him up on second degree murder after we had to say something, which is a. It is what it is, but and he locked up, man, and and, and then then you be like, it's like they be trying to get uh uh Lil Wayne W Miller the death penalty. What they gonna do with him? They gonna get that nigga the death penalty? Probably not. So it's like, bitch, fuck. You know what I'm saying? So hey, man, say man, make sure you like subscribe to the videos up, man. Uh, fuck with your boy, man. This is a W for the black community. They finally locked up the nigga who killed Jordan Millie. And yeah, man, we gonna keep on trying to turn out your man. Make sure you fuck with your boy. Yeah, hood and outside. Game. Hey, Dad, you know that when we link up, dog, this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental, you the engineer on it, so. Pull that everywhere.